Ladies and gentlemen and fellow YouTubers, this is Bharat Nagpal for iGAN.in and this is an iGAN.in video review of the HTC Wildfire. This is a brand new phone from HTC in India and this review is brought to you by Novelty Communications in New Delhi. They are New Delhi's distributors. For their information is on our website iGAN.in. Uh, we just got this phone from them and we are going to do a quick unboxing for you guys. On the box, there are some specifications of the phone. This is known as the HTC Wildfire or uh, the A3333. Basic highlights are Friendstream, which is a new socializing tool. Uh, personally recommended apps from uh, HTC. Per people widget with groups, HTC caller ID, polite ringtones. And um, they also have uh, some specifications, model number, model ID, the CPU speed is 600 megahertz or to be precise 528 megahertz. This also comes with Android 2.1 Eclair and it does have the HTC Sense on top of it. It comes with 512 MB ROM and 384 MB RAM which is excellent. The dimensions are here. The display is 8.13 centimeter touch sensitive screen which is a capacitive screen. It has an internal GPS antenna. HSDPA, GSM, GPRS Edge, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, 3.5 millimeter stereo audio jack, a standard micro USB, a 5 megapixel color camera with autofocus and LED flash, and it comes with a micro SD card. Okay, so let's open the box. On top of the box is the HTC Wildfire. There are some stickers for when you buy the phone. Uh, there is a contact us guide with a lot of phone numbers, etc. A quick start guide, a warranty statement, a guide to some accessories that you can buy separately, safety and regulatory guide. In the box you also have the SanDisk micro SD card with the SD adapter which is an excellent feature like we always say. If you can't connect your uh, phone with the USB cable, you can always uh, just put this in the SD card adapter and just put it in your computer if you have an SD port, that is. Also inside the phone is a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack with uh, headphones. These are not in-ear headphones and there is also an inline microphone. It's the HTC charger which is also a USB charger and obviously the data cable which is a USB to micro USB data cable. Putting all those things back. The phone comes installed with the battery inside the box, uh, inside the phone sorry. So uh, let's have a closer look at the phone itself. So there's the device. If we open the back cover, the battery comes in the box. And we also wanted to show you some other features. When you pull out the back cover, this bottom part of the, back, uh, of the body panel also comes out. So in case you scratch that, all you need to do is change the back panel and you can change it. The back panel is also rubberized with the HTC logo over here. It says HTC Sense at the back and this is the aluminum bit, uh, aluminum brushed feel, which is actually plastic, but it looks like aluminum. Anyway, so the battery is on the inside. So let's take a look at the battery. The battery is a 3.7 volt, 1300 milliamp hour battery and uh, let's see if we have enough charge to power on the device so
So while this power is on, uh, in the front what we believe is a 3.2 inch uh, LCD TFT. At the bottom of the screen you have four touch sensitive buttons and this optical trackpad which is a new design that HTC has incorporated into most of their smartphones like the Desire and this Wildfire now. They replaced the trackball because that attracts a lot of dust and is just gets uh, choked with it. On the right of the phone there is absolutely nothing. There's the HTC quietly brilliant logo with the sound. On top of the phone there is a lock unlock button which is also the power key, a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. On the left hand side there is the volume rocker and your charging port also used for the data cable. On the bottom there is absolutely nothing but a small hole for the microphone. On the back of the device there is your 5 megapixel autofocus camera, the LED flash, the HTC logo which is in stainless steel and the loudspeaker. On front we do have the speakerphone on top here and there are uh, proximity sensors as well. Okay, so uh, let's look at the home screens first. Uh, you have your three home screens on the right hand side and you have your three home screens on the left hand side. The leftmost is the weather widget which is telling us the New Delhi weather weather, uh, uh, HTC SMS uh, UI, you can also add your mail accounts which we haven't added yet. Uh, you can add your favorite contacts and dial them directly from this screen. There's an empty screen so you can add widgets. Um, I like the HTC clock a lot so I'm going to put the HTC clock in there and choose my favorite clock which is this one. So uh, let's select this clock and uh, let's see if it has Delhi. So it does not have Delhi and we'll use current location. It'll find us and it'll give us the clock. So a very cool clock. You can add widgets. The screen is absolutely brilliant. Uh, very good. You can add applications or shortcuts. Uh, you can add other widgets if you like. You can add the calculator which will also be skinned according to your requirement. Uh, let's put in the black one. No room for this widget so you can empty out some widgets from this screen or you can just add it onto this screen and uh, for example we want the calendar we select this and since the screen on this is smaller than the screen on the on the desire we need we can probably just put in one widget at a time so there you go there's the calculator so all in all a very very uh, usual android experience with the htc and the htc sense but the unique feature in this is for example if you are on the third screen you press the home button you come back to the center screen which is not a jump but a smooth motion so you don't have to go three times to the home screen you just press the home button once and you come to the home screen what you can also do here is if you press the home button again you get this quick jump or as HTC likes to call it the leap and from here you can just tap whatever screen you want to go to and uh, it'll just take you there in an instant. So this is a very cool feature. Uh, also you can pinch to get this since this is a multi-touch screen which supports pinch to zoom you can pinch in to get uh, the jump and you can tap to any screen then press the home button again to come back to the main screen pinch again to tap to the uh, to jump. You can pinch from this screen if you want to directly jump again. So this is an excellent feature. The 5 megapixel autofocus camera is what I'm going to show you next which is also a very cool uh, feature. The camera is an autofocus camera so you can probably tap. Yes you can. So you can tap to uh, focus on some specific items. You can uh, you can to zoom in, you all you do is drag your finger up and down after you select the zoom tab. You can do it like this also. You can turn on the flash. Uh, since we are in photo mode, I'm going to go into video mode. So there is no flash in video mode, which is kind of sad. We, we were expecting a video flash at least after the iPhone included it. So coming back to the home screen. Uh, to get into the main applications menu you press this button on the side and you get these applications 
which are standard Android applications with some HTC applications also. There are some games in there and obviously there is the marketplace where you can download various applications. You do have to set up a Google account first, which we don't have, so we're not going to go there. Looking at the browser, we will go to our favorite website, which is iGyan. Sorry, iGyan. Dot in, and it should load up in the mobile mode. I don't know if we have. Uh, the wildfire or oh, we do so it loads up in the mobile mode just like the iPhone or the Samsung uh, Galaxy phones uh, the mobile mode automatically selects a faster website but you can also load full pages and uh, we can switch to the regular view It also auto rotates, and uh, as you can see, it will auto rotate according to the orientation you choose, which is a very good feature. It does have uh, kinetic scrolling. Uh, it is, the website is still loading right now, so that's why it's a little laggy. But the kinetic, kinetic scrolling works really nicely. There's no problem whatsoever. You can pinch to zoom just like the iPhone. Uh, you can uh, just tap your finger to scroll. A very, very nice screen, very nice user interface. The processor supports it. There's a lot of RAM and ROM for a phone of this price. You can zoom in and uh, pinch to zoom out. So those are all good features. Full websites load really nicely. We'll also take a look at the maps as soon as we can. Yeah, so looking at the maps right here. So the maps are Google Maps as usual. They are on the Android platform itself. It finds the location according to the GPS antenna. We are in Defense Colony, so that works. Also, Pinch to Zoom works with uh, the maps as well. You can move around, or you could use this if you don't like pinching, which is also the usual Android system. Going, coming back out. So that's basically the all in all of the HTC Wildfire. It is an excellent phone for an excellent price. It is a smartphone uh, from HTC with Google Android 2.1 in the price range of about 16 to 17,000. Uh, looking at the settings menu, also looking at phone, about phone, you can see that it comes was fine it comes with the 2.1 update one which is also the same as the samsung galaxy 5 that we reviewed so there you go guys this is the htc wildfire it is also known as the smaller version of the desire uh, it is an excellent phone from htc stable price range of about uh, 17,000 rupees uh, you can get it from Novelty Communications, they are distributors for HTC in New Delhi. You'll have the contact information at the bottom of the screen right here. You can call them up and mention iGyan for an excellent offer. Uh, be sure to check out our other reviews. Please rate, subscribe and comment to our videos. This has been Bharat Nagpal for iGyan.in and thank you for watching.